My name is Nancy Schwartz. After spending a lot of months in the hospital in the heart of COVID and having not one family member, not one relative, not a husband during four amputations was very difficult. And I had made the decision on my own after the doctors came to talk to me and said, we need a decision. We either have to amputate or this gangrene is going to travel. I had sepsis shock. So not everybody knows what sepsis is, and I did not either. So it's just oxygen not going into the bloodstream and creating an infection. And the infection causes gangrene if you can't catch it early enough with antibiotics. So after my stay there and rehab there, I was going on to Morse Life's rehab. I had no, really known nothing about Morse Life except that my daughter was there, but she could never see me. When the ambulance came in to go into the rehab, she stood outside waiting after four months of not seeing me, uh, standing outside and waving to me because I wasn't allowed to even kiss her or say anything. And I spent about five weeks in rehab um, getting my legs after a couple of weeks of being in there. I didn't have them until that point. And um, going into their physical therapy. I had a fabulous therapist in there, Eric. A year and a half ago, I had learned how to walk with a um, Canadian crutch, which is a crutch that your arm goes through, it goes around your arm, and you hold the handle. And I was walking with it. Not all the time, but I was able to walk on my own. And I walked into the dining room and I saw somebody I hadn't seen all summer. And I started to walk to them to say hello. And my feet grabbed on the carpet and I fell. And unfortunately fractured my femur and fractured my hip. So I was back in the hospital again for surgery and back again into rehab. So I went back to rehab about a year ago and worked again with Eric because he's my man. And I worked again with him till we got to the point where he said, bring in your crutch. And I brought in my crutch and we were walking again with it. And I'm not saying that it was always a piece of cake. Believe me, I had plenty of times to cry and plenty of times to feel sad. Not sorry for me, because I never felt sorry for me. You just say, why? You know, why did that happen? And why me, of course. But I have a very good attitude. I'm a very strong person. It's a great rehab center, I think. I, I think that you can't get anything better. It's really second to none. And you feel like you're home. Your family can come visit you if COVID is not strong. And um, it worked well for me. I thought it was a great place to be.